All right, ready? Let's see what we got here. <laughs> well, there's some rust. All right, guys, we're gonna work on the 914 some more today. Dig into it a little bit deeper. Don't worry, more rusty videos coming soon. I've got this piece of metal I ordered from Classic Fab. It's part of the missing link I was waiting for. It's part of this whole rear corner here. Uh, it's a bit of a puzzle. It's gonna be a lot of work. I just don't wanna rush into it. I wanna take my time, be on the lookout for some more rusty videos soon. All right, let's get the driver's side rocker panel off and see if there's any rust issues under there. It's got a lot of rivets that we need to drill out. And then this door carpet seal has some Phillips heads and there's some more rivets holding this on. So we'll get all those drilled out and uh, pop it off. And We'll hold on to this for now. I'm not sure if you can get replacement ones or not. I would assume somebody makes them. But um, this one's not too bad. It actually looks like it's too kind of glued together there. See that? So that kind of pulled apart when I first pulled on it, but it looks like it didn't rip, it just pulled apart. So we might be able to just glue that back on. It's actually in pretty decent shape. There was a little piece torn out here. I mean, if there's new ones and they're reasonable, I'll get some new ones. I don't know if they make these, so I'm trying to be real careful. The other side, I got a little ahead of myself and tweaked it just a little bit it's got a little bit of a bend in it but maybe we can straighten it out so I'm going a little slower on this side just trying to take my time not screw anything up got the top parts off we need to get this finished the rest of this pull this off there's a Phillips head and a couple more rivets a couple of these are already a couple of these are already rusted right through look at that let's get this there's a little plastic cover over the jack point all the dirt coming out of there <laughs> so it's loose uh, but it's something's holding it it's a couple little pieces of a rivet that are in here that are holding it on there we go I think it's loose yep What is that? Is that Bondo? Oh, 
don't know what that is. Those are the air lines that go to the uh, charcoal box, I think. Some kind of emissions control thing. I don't think we're gonna need those. But there again, you can see the jack point just gets rusted out, it holds water. Hopefully it didn't rust out the frame. It's pretty solid right here. Let's clean that up and see what it looks like. Just like the other side. Oh man, look at that. There's a mouse hole nest on this side too. <laughs> That's awesome. They love getting in there. So we'll get that cleaned out. Oh wow. This side is a little worse. Looks like the undercoating worked. That all looks pretty solid. It's just this jack point that uh, gets rotted out. I think they make a, a repair section for this. I'll have to check, I'm pretty sure they did. Just kidding. <laughs> well, you never know. Could be something in there. Probably gonna have to cut this, cut a square out here. I'll have to find out how the other guys are doing it. Probably cut the square here and patch that. That'll give me some more access and I can get in there and clean better. But um, I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna get the other side cleaned out. I, I would imagine it's very similar to this. Get back in there. But yeah, there it is. All right, I'm gonna vacuum that out. I'm gonna do the other side and stay tuned. Mm. 
All right, we're getting there. We'll be able to get the vacuum up in there. There's still some stuff in there. I gotta get it off the back wall here. We'll get it cleaned up pretty good, and then we'll get more of it out later when we cut this open. So the passenger side, you may have seen earlier, is pretty much the same condition. Um, you can see the original paint under the undercoating. And that side's looking good. The jack point with the surrounding jack point cover gets rusted out, but it looks like it's solid behind it. There's a mouse nest in there. I'm gonna get out. This isn't as bad as the other side. That hole is still just a hole on the other side. It's kind of deteriorated. So hopefully we can get a panel for that. Patch for that. Maybe we can just make one, but otherwise it doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm just kind of going through here and poking around a little bit. This looks like that gold paint. See, they went through the trouble to even paint under here. So, you know, they, they definitely spent some time painting uh, but it looks like they painted over the uh, undercoating for some reason. Kind of weird. So it didn't stick very good. But what's weird is under the undercoating, it's gold too. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe that's just some kind of overspray. I don't know. It's kind of weird that there's a layer of gold then the undercoating and then gold underneath it. So I'm just kind of picking around, seeing what's, what's going on here. There's some seam sealer, it looks like. I'm just picking off the loose pieces, see what if there's rust underneath. I'm not sure if this is factory, this little cutout here. Um, there's some surface rust here. It doesn't look too bad. And then you can kind of just see there's a little bit of surface rust here. It's really, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a professional, but From my limited knowledge, I guess I'm comparing it to Rusty, <laughs> which is about the worst as it gets. Um, you know, it's not too bad. There's surface rust here and there, and there's little, you know, where it's bent or curved or whatever, but I think we can get it cleaned up. Like I said, we're not doing a concourse restoration or just doing uh get it up and running make it safe do the brakes fuel lines um tires maybe the suspensions and get whatever necessary rust fix that we have to fix like see this we don't have to put the jack points here we don't need the jack points right now we can do this later we can just clean this up get all the rust off clean it up and spray it with some uh, rust inhibitor. Put a little coat of paint on it. Just clean it up and protect it so it doesn't get worse. We do the same on the other side. This, this is not structural at all. This is just a jack point. We don't need that jack point. We can just jack it up here. We'll do that eventually, but uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is this motor mount, it, if this is structural or not. This is just the back side of the, we might be able to just patch that, clean it up and patch it. And then the, uh, the hell hole area, um, doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks bad, but I think we can get this fixed up, cut some of that out of there, clean it up, patch it up. I think we'll be good. I think the structural part of it is there. So, 
I think I got lucky on this one. There's obviously some areas that need to be addressed. Again, you know, let's just get whatever rust we can get and keep it from rusting. Let's take this off. I want to see what's back here. All right, let's see what lies beneath. What is hiding under there? There's a Phillips head here. Let's see if we can get this off. Oh, man, that thing's on there. Man, I gotta get that gas can. That gas tank clean. That is stinky. Dang, that, that sucker don't wanna come out of there. on there. Okay, so I've been real gentle with it. The only thing I can see holding it is this one screw here. And then it feels like it's pressed on. I feel like, uh, you gotta be gentle with it or you're gonna bend it. I don't know if you can get replacement ones or not. It looks like it's, you know, they tap it. They put that one screw on and then they tap the rest of it in somehow, which is interesting. And this has got some weird little rivet on it. It's holding that on. Those are strange uh, attaching attachment points. Something's holding it right here down at the bottom. got like a bracket right there. It's rusted. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. There's some kind of a, somebody put some sticky stuff here to stick it on. Now there's a bracket right here that slips up under here. I was pretty careful with it. Those were already there. There's little dents right there. So. Again, this is not concourse. Maybe one day, but I'm assuming uh, the rest of this has a similar attachment. See if we can get off what we need to get off. All right, ready? Let's see what we got here. Oh. <laughs> well, there's some rust. There's the original paint. Should have tried to get that off of one piece, but I think it's gonna need to be replaced. It's 
pretty dry rot all the way around. So this is hollow. There's like a space in between there. Hopefully it's not all rusted out in there. It's not poking through. Looks like it might just be surface rust. Isn't that crazy? That's, that's the original color right there. What do you think? Should we take it back to the original color someday? Might be kind of cool. I'm gonna leave that trim in there for right now. Is it just popped in there? Yeah, it's got these little, all right, let's just go ahead and get it off. It's got these little clips in here. it up underneath there, you see that? I've seen it where the guys leave this off. They just paint it and leave this. I think they actually had it like that. The original prototypes or the original ones. I'm not sure if it's certain models or whatever. This was actually painted and they didn't put this cover on there. They may have had the trim, but not the cover. I kind of like it with just the paint. That's going to be the biggest area probably of the original paint that's left. So they obviously didn't take those off when they did the... Restoration. That's just the glue. That's the original color. And get the glue off of there. Oh, that glue is on there, boy. There we go. Probably look better than that because that's got the uh, they probably painted it and sprayed that on there and it probably deteriorated it. The original dark green was probably a little different. Finished look. Let's see if I can pop that off of there. That's being held in by that rubber piece behind it somehow.
no rust there. That's good. And there's no rust up here. So that is good. I'm not going to mess with these right now. I just wanted to expose that rust here. And we'll have to get, make a new little plate bracket here for this. This one broke. Yeah, you can kind of see how that little looks with just the paint. I gotta put all that in a safe place so I don't screw it up anymore. Um, I'm not sure if they have replacement chrome trim or not. There's gonna be, you know, you start taking all that stuff off and you start getting into a full blown restoration, which. They should have just left that painted. Just put that on there and water got behind there and rusted it out. So, but it's not too bad. Maybe we can just sand this. Put a little patch panel in there. I'm sure if we open that up, there's probably rust behind it. Let's check the other side. So just before we start, someone's already boogered this up. Doing something at some point. Who knows how that got there, but it's there. This piece looks pretty good. I'm okay with it. I mean, I don't need it to be perfect. I just wanna get these off, clean it up so it doesn't keep rusting. Hopefully this side's not as bad. like Bondo. Oh, let me have uh looks like they they did replace this side. Look at the cold paint goes all the way up here. So this side had already rusted out and they put Bondo here. That's Bondo rust. Mm. That's too bad.
I had a feeling uh, something nasty was going to be under there. 